Hello, my name is John Dean and I'm a crime writer and I would like to talk in this brief film about a sense of place. But before I talk about a sense of place, a little bit of background, a little bit of background to me and a little bit of background to, to where we are. Since I'm going to talk about a sense of place, it makes sense to start with where we are. We're in my garage, the somewhat less than salubrious surroundings where I create my work, which is the DCI Harris and DCI John Blizzard crime novels published by the book folks. Outside is southwest Scotland, specifically a hillside in Dumfries and Galloway, where I'm spending virtually all my lockdown, only venturing out occasionally, very occasionally indeed. This is a strange experience for me, and it will be for a lot of other crime writers, because at this time of year, with May approaching, we'll be taking part in National Crime Reading Month, out and about giving talks to venues, libraries, meeting audiences, enjoying that interaction between writer and reader that is one of the joys of being an author. This year is different, of course. Coronavirus means that those events aren't happening, and instead National Crime Reading Month has gone digital, online, which is why people like me are struggling with technology that young people find so easy, but which really causes us all sorts of problems. I ought to say thank you to my son Michael for making this happen, and for Laura for making sure that I can transfer the files through to the Crime Writers Association. So, this is where we are, and that's who I am. I've been a Crime Writers Association member for about 17 years, and I'm currently one of two Crime Writers Association Libraries Champions for the UK. That means that we speak up for libraries, speak up in their defence when they're threatened, speak up to champion what they do and put them in touch with writers if required. However, back to where we are. Sense of place. What do I mean by sense of place? I think writers are inspired by three things. They're inspired by plot, people and place. Plot, story ideas, narratives, ideas that they've heard, ideas that they've dreamed of, things that they've read that inspire the idea of a story and they want to write them. Not bothered where it's set or who it features, but they're just desperate to write them. People, characters, writers meet characters, are fascinated by characters, absolutely fascinated, want to write about them and they're not bothered what the story is as long as it features the people. And then there's place. They go to a place, they're inspired by it, it's what they want to write about. That's where I come in, that's what inspires me. And I'll talk about that in a minute or two. If you want to see Sense of Place done really brilliantly, why not try something by Martin Edwards, recent winner of the CWA Diamond Dagger Award and an absolutely brilliant Sense of Place writer. Can I suggest, if you've not read him before, something like Mort Main Hall. Martin, apologies if I've pronounced it wrong, but well worth a read. Or Peter May, the absolutely brilliant Peter May, who describes the Scottish islands and the Scottish landscape so brilliantly and so evocatively. Try something like Coffin Road. From my point of view, I am inspired by place, and one of my series is the Jack Harris novels, which is set in a remote North Pennines Valley. That was inspired by my surroundings in North Penn the North Pennines when I went on holiday. But since I've moved here to Scotland two and a half years ago, I found myself more inspired by the landscape around me here, which is very similar to the North Pennines in many ways. And my latest book is called The Killing Line. And part of it, a key part of it, was inspired by a sense of place. Not far from where we live, there's a wood where you can walk the dog and where we walk the dog regularly. Haven't done it for ages. I'm recording this in early to mid-April. And because of the shutdown, the lockdown, we haven't been able to get out to that wood for a while. But when we did go, go out to it, we'd walk the dog around the circuit and the circuit goes over the top of the hill and then down the bottom and back to the car park. On the way back to the bottom, along the bottom, there's a ravine, a steep rock face with trees and bushes and, and gullies and all sorts. When you look up, it's absolutely inspiring. And as a writer, it inspired me. Because I'd been thinking about a character for a while, a character who was feral, wild, animalistic, a character who was devious, who was cunning, who had all those kind of qualities. And I had an image of him running for his life, trying to get down the, the hillside, hurdling branches, trees, th thr thrashing through bushes, all to escape for his life. That was the idea I had. That was the idea for the story. 
It became a key part of the killing line. It shows that sense of place inspired so many writers and it inspired me. So that's my story. That's a little bit about sense of place. I do hope you've enjoyed it and stay safe.